Okay, I'm going to try and show how to convert your SO6 files to SO7. I'm going to try and do this as quick as possible. Um, so, what I will do, I will now open up my file folder. I will click on my local C drive into my program file 66. Into my status order 7. There you see the, the, the file called mods. Click into your mods. Now you can add any folder, name it you want to. So say you put a new folder in, uh, you name it, and you put, when you complete the conversion, you put your files into that. I've, I've named that mine, that's this one I did earlier. This is my, this is Gray's, this is my mods, and they have no linear. But if you do it the first time, Name your mod folder. Now I got this as the, te the test. Now as you can see, you got your showcase your files, your shared files, and your course. So you, you only need your course, your showcase files. So I'll copy those two. And I'll go into my SO6 converter. And because I'm using UK, I go into data folder, into one. And I press that in there. Now I'm going to go back to collect my course because I have courses that I did. Now I copy that, put that in my data. Now that's all you need to do. Now I'm going to, this is the output. As you go into UK1, UK, you see there's no beginner yet. Now I'm going to start my game up in window mode. It'll be on in a minute. I'll press space. Let's put this onto the window properly. Right, you go into your game, but you go into click edit game schedule. Right, you see this little rainbow down the bottom here, little round rainbow. Click that and you get a notification that the game is trying to convert your files. So click that. Right, that should be done now. So you click off that, click the game off. Now, as you know, this was empty when you first went in there in your convert file. Now you look, you see that it's converted the race course and the feature races. Now you would grab those in your database. You grab the database, you copy that database. And you put it into your new mode. Now you want to put your sheds in your new mode as well. Get rid of these ones. You don't need these no more. You go in your shed. Cut these and I'll put them in the UK folder with the, the new conversions. Now what do you do with these? You change the name because it's now DB. And you choose that uh, to your schedules. Now your files are in there, they're in your mode, so click that off and start the game up. I 
Right, once you're in your game, press space uh, and create a new game. You see your available user mods down here. You go and press default, create a new game. You see your available user mods down here. You go and press default, and you see that mine are in there, and the new mod I am just there. Now we're in the game. I will click my mod, graze mod, where all my mods are, uh, jump, easy, I'll click and start new game, and make sure it's all working, just to show you, and I'm not going to save this game, so I'll just click that, again, here we are then, just, we're in my new mod, Right, we go and uh, check. Everything's okay. We go into the diary. I can find it because I've yet to play this game properly yet. And as you can see, I got my jumps stand on the 1st of September. And as you can see, this is there's no ice racing in it yet. I will just put the UK in. I'm going to put the Irish in later. But this will give you the idea of my mod, and unlike Bob's, who does a good job, I, I usually put a full race card on, I don't have one or two races, I usually do the full race card. As you can see, six, seven winners, I've left a couple of um, French races in the mod. As you see, it goes all the way, it goes to the festival. Dates might change when we get the proper dates for the, the game. Cheltenham, all in there. Let's just check this one. One, two, three, four, five. It looks like the all races are in there. And of course, in April, you have Aintree. So, that's my modded schedule. Um, there is one more thing I have to show you because I forgot to show you earlier. If I just close this down, um, this is very important as well, and I forgot to put it in earlier. Open up your folder and go back into your local C drive. I forgot to show you something that uh, I just remembered. Go into your mod. Go into your mod. This is very important. You go into your new mod, and of course, when you go into your shed, it's different than SO6 to SO7. So, this wouldn't work if you start the game up. So, you have to go up and get. I'll go on this one because it's the same schedule into the UK, into my schedule for the flat I see it's totally different it's totally different I would copy this close that down go into the new one I would delete that and then paste in the new one and save it I know this should work in your new mod you have to do this to jump schedule and the data and the combined for your game to work hope that helps you out a bit and good luck